Okay, digital mindset, what do we mean by that? Well, I find that the best way to uncloud the digital mindset is to dismiss some of the myths. And then after we've dismissed the myths, we need to get the jigsaw pieces and put them together in our head. What are the main core constituents of digital transformation? Over this short sequence of videos, we're going to take a look at the major myths and the misconceptions that we have and see around digital transformation. And it's common predominantly because of the three different industries that I've mentioned in the previous video, all battling for your heart and mind. As a business leader though, it always has to start with the business opportunity or the business problem. And then we need to work from there. Quite often that isn't expressed for good reason. It's because we believe that the inspiration of the technology is where we should be taking our lead and, and that's a technologist's role. But as I'll show to you, the person who runs a logistics business does not need to understand how a combustion engine works in order to do so. And it's the same thing with the technology. The, the leaders don't need to understand what the technology, how it does it, just simply what it does. And there'll be more about that later. For now, let's take a look at the major myths and we'll break them into short videos one at a time. Let's look at the first one. The first myth that we have is that improving our IT leads to digital transformation. And it's probably the telltale sign for this is if the digital transformation plan is written by the technologists. Um, if we start to see lots of brands, we are seeing the Oracles and Logos and the SAPs and the Microsofts appearing. This is a technology plan. This is not anything that's transformational. And quite often what we do is we upgrade the internal IT architecture and say it's transformational. Our operating model still stays the same. Our customers maybe get mightily faster services, but we are not competing any more aggressively in the digital economy. We're not attracting new customers. They're not finding themselves more drawn towards our business. What has transformed? For whom, I ask? Who has this transformed for? That's not to say that creating operational efficiency isn't something we should do. We've been doing it for years. My point is that by simply creating the operational efficiency, most often does not create transformation. And we can pin the idea and the concepts, we mistakenly pin it as the improving IT leads to transformation. Let me show you a little video by David Rogers on what he has Just to say from it. Keep in mind that digital transformation is not fundamentally about changing your technology. It's really about strategy, about leadership, and about new ways of thinking. Every business that was started before the internet uh, faces a challenge today of how to adapt and transform to compete and thrive in an increasingly digital economy. And this is really a very different challenge for these existing businesses than for uh, what is the, the, the needs of a startup. But what I increasingly found the more I looked at businesses was that digital transformation is really not about technology. It's actually much more about changing, uh, not upgrading your IT, so to speak, but upgrading your strategic thinking. So what David Rogers from Columbia University is actually saying is that it's not about technology. I think it goes a little far. Of course, it's about technology. But his point, I think, has been well made, is that the technology gets disproportionate amounts of attention for what it's due to do in the business. It's the leadership part's almost forgotten about. It's just taken for red that it's going to appear. Here's where things start to become difficult and become undone in a transformation program. If we happen to have the top of this, as you can see, our customer or our candidate or our donor, whatever it is, the service delivery, the product or service delivery sits at the top of our organization. At the bottom of our organization, we have the service creation and the profit we receive will be as we go through this service creation to, through to the service delivery and we have to remove those costs. What we find is that technology that reduces the operating costs and creates efficiency is a very easy win. It's an easy thing to make a decision upon. New products and services, however, is a much more uncomfortable place. So as you can imagine here, 
if we go and create a business case around reducing our operating costs, it's quite easy to sign it off. You invest X, you will get a return of Y, you will get these savings and we'll do things faster, smarter, cheaper. But I argue that's not transformational. That's operational efficiency. And operational efficiency, whilst it's utterly important, absolutely essential, don't mistake this as I'm down on operational efficiency. We should be operationally efficient. But quite often, it's just a marginal gain where the word transformation indicates, indicates step change. It will not create step change. Step change happens in this blue square, but it's a very uncomfortable place. The new products and services and innovations that happen through co-creation, quite often creations that happen externally to our organisation, that will be powered by technology. Now, the barriers that are put up in this uncomfortable place are substantial. Hi, we need to innovate and create a product. Have you got a business case? Yes, I do. How solid is it? I don't know. That's what innovation is. Innovation is the flip side of risk. Oh, okay, well, what is the return? We just don't know yet. We haven't tested it. Um, how many people will you need? Well, I'm going to need lots of these people. Who's going to replace those people? Well, we don't know because they may have to go back. Hold on, this is a really difficult business case to justify. So in the absence of having any proven methods or any practiced methods, more like, to create these cycles of innovation and culture of innovation, we tend to default to just putting in more operating efficiency and referring to it as transformation. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't. And we've got to get over that. Operational efficiency is something we need to do, but operational efficiency is not innovation. And innovation is a cornerstone of transformation. If we're going to make transformation a reality in the organization, we need to innovate. The problem is innovate around what? Blue sky thinking? Or a specific business need? That's going to come up in our next video. Thanks for watching.